Hey, what's up guys? It's Mark and Donovan here from Dad Intentions. As you guys know, we've been doing a lot of untapped sections in our uh, recent podcast, and uh, a lot of our untaps have been doing against the grain. So today we figured we'd come check it out here in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, one of the brewers reached out to us and said, hey, come check it out. Come get a tour. We love what you guys are doing. And uh, so we're gonna go see what they got. Let's go check it out. Come on. He's here? Did you tell me we're coming oh, in here? Oh damn. <laughs> He's in the production facility. <laughs> it's off 22nd Street. <laughs> All right, so we're back. Uh, we're actually at the production facility over here. And uh, we showed up to the restaurant. I hit up the guy and he's like, hey, come uh, actually to the production facility. My bad. So we're actually here. We're going to get to see how it's made and uh, all the good things from there. So. Let's go check this out, come on. Sit like, your ass down? That's like one of my favorite ones too. Are you good one? Matt. Fresh off the line? Uh, yeah, we'll uh, walk we around and I'll explain this to you guys. Uh, this is so good. Oh, thanks. Like, it, ta uh, it tastes like so different than like Ninja Time. Christmas. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is hard. That's nuts. We took it out of one of these tanks, filtered it, and then put it in a tank yesterday. So, like, how 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 long does it take to make a beer? Like, so as far from, as, like, from there? From grain to here, I yeah. get a citra done in two weeks. That's the fastest I get one done. Now, lagers take about five weeks. Uh, because you've got lagering time and you don't want to rush that at all. Uh, plus, we don't have lagering tanks, so our, our technique takes a little longer. Uh, but yeah, so we'll go from here, mash done, get all the wort hydrated, or excuse me, get all the grain hydrated, and it creates wort, which is like liquid sugar. Let's just mm. call it that simply. Uh, then we take that wort and we actually take it and send it over here and boil it. This is the boil kettle where we fill this bad boy up and then we recirculate it and it goes through. Call it calandria, which is essentially a, it's, it's a pipe within a pipe. So the inner pipe has liquid, the outer pipe has steam. And so what we do is we heat that liquid up as it's going through and recirculating so we can get some oil for pasteurization and uh, to make sure we get isoamorization for hops. Um, that way we can also break down any hot material or anything we need in it. Hmm. And we take it from here, and we actually send it over to this thing called a whirlpool, where it takes and it comes in at like 55 gallons a minute on the side creates this giant whirlpool and you guys know like playing in a pool everything draws to the middle yeah so all the junk any hot material any proteins or anything that's left over it actually pools up in the middle of this and so in the mm. back in the back is like a essentially a barrier that's like okay. a wall to prevent this it takes okay. it on and so all that nasty hot material from a hoppy IPA or anything like uh with our uh well, actually, that's just proteins and starches. I was like, we don't add anything else really during oil, but that'll collect in the middle, and then we'll drain cleaner liquid out from the back, and it goes through something called a heat exchanger, which is essentially a little pipe going, just like the calandria, it's the same principle, but with cold water on the outside, and all that hot liquid goes through this tiny little oil, and it gets cooled down, so I can go from 190 to 200 degrees to 60, like that. Wow. And then we send it over to the Yeah. I, like they said, they said a lot of people during quarantine, that's 
their alcohol intake just skyrocketed. Which yeah, I so, mean, I, I wasn't like binging, but man, I drank a lot of beer. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, a lot of beer. We went so primarily we do like when we go, like for instance we're doing a candy run today. We kicked off a lot of that. So for draft sales, uh, when draft sales stopped, we went to full can run. That's crazy. It's super long days. Like this uh, today. We kicked off quite a bit, and we're still, we've been canning for about four and a half hours right now. Oh, damn. I mean, you're talking seven, eight hour run thing. with yeah. three of us, and it takes three to run this machine, so it's like, it was it was crazy last year. I'm fortunate to have a job the whole time. Yeah. Um, there was days where my boss would just come down at two and be like, you guys want to get drunk? I'm, but <laughs> he's bummed out about everything, too. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Different if you get right close here. to me, you'll be yeah. good. Oh, um, right now, probably only two or three. Uh, here for sure, Japan, and I think we have some product in Canada. Okay. Most of that's because uh, during COVID and everything, oh, yeah. our international it just went to nothing. Okay. Um, at the height, I think we were at in like 18 different countries. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. He, was, he was talking back about in like back 2012, in 2012. Yeah. My wife, she did a study abroad tour in Ireland. Yeah. And there was like, Against the grain in Ireland, I was like, yeah. "Holy shit!" I took a picture of it, and we like, do a lot of collabs it. with people. We have a lot of yeah. international friends, so like okay. we have um, got uh, I don't know five or six people in Brazil that have come up here, and vice versa. That's pretty cool. A uh, bunch of people in Europe in different countries. Yeah, he went to the UK a couple years ago to That's do all awesome. years over there. Uh, That's cool. First off, how cool was that? Man, that awesome. was probably the coolest awesome. thing I ever time. done. Great time. Like to drink a beer fresh off the line, not in like going through the stores or anything like yeah. that. Uh, Dad Intentions was to thank ATG against the game brewery for inviting us out, allowing us to walk through uh, their brewery and uh, just talking us through their process, but also like how they just love just just being a part of their community, you know? And being a local brewery and us being able to come in and do our thing and just film it and uh, drink beer and have a good time was like awesome. awesome. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Shout out to uh, our, our good friend Tyler Martin for allowing us to come do that. Shout out to Jesse, um, their social media uh, guy who does all that stuff. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I know it's off the beaten path, but we enjoyed it. So thanks for tuning in to Dad and Kitchen. Peace. Let's get drunk.